Hello and welcome to the video lecture of FEA. I am Bhavik Soneji and today I am going to talk about differential equations in FEA. In the previous videos, we have seen what is FEA, various advantages and disadvantages of FEA, basic steps in FEA and what are the various phases of FEA and how an engineering problem can be converted into a mathematical formula. So let's understand what is differential equations in FEA. So let's get started. So any engineering problem can be converted into mathematical formulas. You might have seen formulas like this. Yes, you guessed it right. Uh, these formulas are known as algebraic formulas. And uh, these algebraic formulas are used to solve various problems like uh, age related problem or we want to predict some cost or any other uh, general uh, terms in day to day life. But what if uh, some physical phenomena is changing over time? So that thing is known as a derivative. Uh, for example, velocity v. What is velocity? Velocity is nothing but the uh, change in displacement in any one direction, let's say x over time. It is also denoted by delta x by delta t or first derivative of displacement same for acceleration acceleration is a rate of change of velocity that is derivative of velocity so a is equal to dv by dt it is also written as del v by del t or it is also represented by second derivative of displacement so any physical quantity which is changing over time or any other phenomena is known as derivative and any equation which carries this kind of derivatives are known as partial differential equation so these partial differential equations are nothing but the equation which is having some derivative inside it and uh, this is these differential equations are everywhere like in biology if we want to find some spread of bacteria so the growth rate of bacteria can be uh, represented by this kind of equation or in any chemical reaction how rapid the reaction is going to do or how the uh, uh, decay of uh, carbon in uh, any reaction that is represented by differential equation uh, in physics if you want to find out force force is equal to mass into acceleration where acceleration is nothing but the second derivative of displacement so d square x by dt square so in the equation of force itself it is the differential equation so these differential equations are used to uh, represent various physical phenomena in engineering field for example physics biology and chemical reactions so let's understand uh, differential equations in detail basically there are two type of differential equations First is ordinary differential equation and second is partial, dif partial differential equation. So what is ordinary differential equation? To understand it better, first we have to understand what is dependent variable and independent variable. You know the general notation which is x, y and z. This is the spatial coordinate representation. 
these are the spatial coordinates and the time now you know the spatial coordinates does not depend on any other variable or the time time also does not depend on any other variable so these two are known as independent variable while uh, as we have seen velocity depends on spatial coordinates like x and time as well as acceleration is also depends on velocity and time so this kind of uh, variables are known as dependent variables So now you know dependent variable and independent variable if any equation is having only single independent variable then it is known as ordinary differential equation uh, let me give you one example here it is a spring mass system here the mass m is attached with the spring which is having a k stiffness and it is oscillating in this direction this two direction so it is nothing but the simple harmonic motion and the motion can be represented by ordinary differential equation like this so here as you can observe in this equation here the direction is x if the spring is vertically hang then instead of x we can write here y so here the spring uh, simple harmonic motion of a spring depends on the time t only so here only one single independent variable is present inside the equation so it is known as ordinary differential equation now let's understand what is partial differential equation so the difference between ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation is partial differential equation is having multiple independent variable so instead of only one independent variable there are two independent variable for example this is the wave equation or wave is propagating so this x is indicate the time t and this is the amplitude of the wave in one direction we can take let's say we are taking y direction so amplitude is changing over time like this so if we want to represent the wave equation of this wave suppose by u so u will be the function of y and t y is a spatial coordinate and t is the time so it can be represented like del u by del t equal to alpha del u square by t square so here you can see the equation or the function is depended on two independent variables y and t so it is known as partial differential equation so here the difference between ordinary differential equation and partial is it is having multiple independent variable while ordinary represents only single independent variable 
so this is the difference between partial differential equation and ordinary differential equation. in day to day life we are uh, more concerned about partial di differential equation and uh, let's understand partial differential equation in depth by one more example so suppose we are heating one rod which is having a regular cross section area circular regular cross section area and we are heating from here so this is the heat source and this rod is having uniform cross section area so now heat is transferred that we want to find out so t is nothing but the temperature capital t so temperature will get changed over time so small t is nothing but the time and if we consider this direction as x then x is the spatial coordinate so now we want to uh, represent how the temperature is changing over time and as well as it will change over various points like this so here we are taking x direction in x direction various points has various temperature as well as at different time the temperature will be different so this temperature is a function of two independent variable first is a spatial coordinate and second is the time so it can be represented by this equation which is a function of two independent variable and alpha which is the material property of body the rod is made up of some material and alpha is the material property which indicates the conductivity of the material so here you can see this equation is having more than two independent variables that is x and t so it is denoted by partial differential equation and it is having derivative of it so this is the one example of partial differential equation uh here you can see the here we are assuming that the cross section area is uniform if this rod is having upper cross section area then we have to consider one more spatial coordinate that is y which is related to diameter but for sake of simplicity we are only considering right now one heat source and a regular cross section area so to understand it more let me give you one more example of partial differential equation like heating of the uh, sphere or plate so here you can see sphere and plate is a 3d object which is having three coordinates x y and z it is occupying the three dimensions so it's a 3d object and now we are going to consider this 3d object so we are uh, submerging a metal body 
which is having the shape of so this is the sphere sphere and it is submerged into a hot water so how this sphere is getting the heat from hot body to cold body that we have to represent so we have we can represent it like this the temperature will get change over time so dt by d small t is a function of conductivity and three dimensions of a body del square t by del y square del square t by del z square so here you can see this is represented in this terms it is this 3d object or the temperature is a function of x y z and temperature t it is also denoted like this alpha into laplacian representation laplace representation is like this it is a inverted triangle so this is a laplace representation and second derivative of spatial representation so this equation is a heating equation of a sphere which is a lump body inside a hot water and how the temperature is represented by this equation this equation is nothing but the partial dif differential equation because it is having more than one independent variable so i have given examples of uh, heat transfer system and simple harmonic motion same you can implement partial dif differential equation in any physical quantity and it can be represented by partial differential equation so hope you find it useful thank you